Have you ever wondered how the television, a device we use daily, came into existence? It's a tale of innovation, persistence, and vision. A tale that begins with a young farm boy named Philo Farnsworth. Born in the early 20th century, Farnsworth was a self-taught inventor who dared to dream big. He envisioned a world where people could witness events happening miles away, right from the comfort of their homes. This young lad from a small town in Utah, with his insatiable curiosity and ingenuity, laid the foundation for what would revolutionize the way we consume information and entertainment. He developed the concept of electronic television, a groundbreaking invention that would forever change the world. The journey wasn't easy, filled with countless challenges and obstacles, but Farnsworth's relentless pursuit of his vision led to the birth of an invention that has since become an integral part of our lives. Now, let's dive in and explore how a farm boy named Philo Farnsworth brought us into the age of television. Born in 1906, Philo Farnsworth was an inventor, even as a young boy. Growing up on a farm in Idaho, Farnsworth was fascinated by the mechanics of the world around him. The whirring machinery of the farm and the flickering light bulbs sparked an interest in electricity and machines that would shape his future. His high school science teacher, Justin Tolman, fueled this fascination, encouraging Farnsworth to explore beyond the boundaries of textbooks. At the tender age of 14, Farnsworth had a brainwave. He visualized a system that could capture moving images in a room transform them into code, then reassemble them in another room. This concept of electronic television was revolutionary, a stark departure from the mechanical television systems that were in vogue at the time. Farnsworth's idea was to see with electricity. Imagine the audacity of a teenage mind conceiving an idea that would change the world. This wasn't a mere daydream of a youthful mind, it was a vision that Farnsworth was determined to make a reality. And so, with a clear vision in mind, Farnsworth was ready to bring his concept to life. The year is 1927, and Farnsworth, now a young man, creates the first working electronic television. In the bustling city of San Francisco, a 21-year-old Philo Farnsworth was about to make history. This youthful inventor, armed with a talent for innovation and a vision for a connected world, brought to life the first fully functioning electronic television system. Working tirelessly in his lab, Farnsworth crafted an invention that could capture moving images in a form that could be coded onto radio waves and then transformed back into a picture on a screen. This was a stark contrast to the mechanical televisions of the time, which were limited in their ability to produce clear, moving images. This was no small feat. Farnsworth faced numerous challenges along the way. Funding for such a venture was hard to come by in the late 20s, and the young inventor often found himself strapped for cash but his unwavering belief in his concept and his relentless determination kept him going. Then came the moment of truth. In September of that year, Farnsworth presented his invention to the public and the scientific community. The demonstration was a success and the world got its first glimpse of the future of broadcasting. However, the road to success was not smooth. Patent disputes emerged, creating a cloud of uncertainty around Farnsworth's claim to the invention of electronic television. These legal battles added to the financial strain and were a constant source of stress. Despite the hurdles, Farnsworth's invention was about to change the world. Fast forward to 1936 and the world witnesses the first public use of the television. Imagine the excitement, the anticipation, the sheer wonder of that moment. Picture the crowd gathered at the Berlin Olympic Games, their eyes wide as moving images flicker across the screen, broadcasting the athletic prowess of nations across the globe. The world had never seen anything like it, and it was met with a collective gasp of awe. This was more than just a novel spectacle, it was a revolution in communication and entertainment. People could now witness events happening oceans away, right from the comfort of their living rooms. The television brought the world closer together, shrinking distances and blurring boundaries. It was like having a window to the world, opening up new horizons of knowledge and understanding. Following this groundbreaking event, there was a flurry of development and commercialization. Manufacturers saw the potential of this new gadget and rushed to make it available to the masses. The television swiftly moved from being a luxury item to a household staple forever changing the way we consume information and entertainment. The reactions of the public were mixed, with some marveling at the technology and others skeptical of its impact. But there was no denying the fact that this was a game-changer. 
It wasn't just about watching shows or news. It was about experiencing the world in a whole new way. The television in its earliest form was a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of innovation. And thus, the television as we know it was born. All thanks to Philo Farnsworth. The man who had once dreamed of capturing moving images in a box had not only realized his dream, but had also transformed the way the world communicated. His invention, the television, was a gift to mankind, one that would continue to entertain, inform, and inspire generations to come. Philo Farnsworth's legacy extends far beyond the television. This prodigious inventor didn't stop at creating the first fully electronic television. He also made significant contributions in other areas of electronic communication. Farnsworth held over 300 patents in radio and television technology, including a method to sterilize milk using radio waves and a radar calibration system. His remarkable achievements didn't go unnoticed. In 1967, Farnsworth was recognized by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences with a special Emmy Award for his pioneering contributions to the field. He was later inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame and the National Inventors Hall of Fame, cementing his place in the annals of history. Sadly, Farnsworth passed away in 1971. But his legacy lives on, not only in every television set around the world, but also in the countless ways his inventions have shaped our modern world. So the next time you switch on your TV, remember the farm boy with a dream who made it all possible.